Last lesson, we kind of figured out how we can now go to the details page. Next, we need to figure out how we can actually get the joke back from when we're clicking this guy and pushing a new page. I want the joke to be shown on the details page, right? Now, there's also help for that in the nav controller in here. So as I scroll down, you'll see that right here, it actually also explains how we can get a navigation um, parameter back. So that's what we're going to do this lesson. We're going to use the nav params to kind of get the joke back. And right now we'll just console log it and then next lesson we'll try and show something. But let's try and jump to our details page and kind of just try to get the joke back. So um, going into the details page right here, we already have an aft parameter available because if that's how you make a page, it automatically adds these guys because it expects you to kind of navigate between these things. Uh, so we have the nav details ready right here, or sorry, nav params. Now what do we need to do? Well, we need to say nav get and then the name of the property we're looking for. And in our case, what we're actually looking for is the joke, right? So we should be able to say something like this. Let, that's just again, a variable, a locally variable I'm going to make right here. Let's just call it joke just to make it even more crazy with all these namings. Uh, we're just going to make a local variable called joke. We're going to use this, so the local nav params right here, and we're going to get something from them, just like we did when we worked with local storage, right? We're getting some kind of value and we're using this hash set or hash key to kind of get a specific value. What I'm looking for is the value called joke right here. Now that value, where, where am I getting that from? Well, that value is what I put in right here actually. So this value right here, that's actually what I'm putting in there, okay? So the name joke, that's what I'm looking for right here for the joke details. Now I should have that parameter now available. So what I'm going to do is just going to console lock that guy right there, console lock the joke, and let's just write joke in front of it. Joke, like this, okay, yeah. come on. Joke, and do a comma, and joke right there. So that's up and running now, and we should be able to console lock this now. Um, so let's just try and see if it actually works. So our application is already running as always. So let's jump into the list view. Let's click it and see if it actually prints it. There we go. So now we have the joke available. Click, we have the joke available on the details page. We just need to kind of use that joke now to actually do something uh, clever with the joke. Show the details, add some buttons to update or delete. I don't know, we'll figure it out in the next couple of lessons. But now you kind of know how you can get information back from params. Now the last thing I kind of want to do is just make this into a local joke, joke just like we've done so many times right here. And then we're going to, instead of have a local joke like this, we're going to say this, the joke down here. And that's pretty much just because next lesson, of course, I'm going to start using this very specific joke inside our code. So I kind of want to just map this into actually being a joke down here. Now let's just have a final look that it actually works right here. It's running, Gajumi, let's jump in here, list jokes, click it, and we still have the joke printed. So next lesson, we'll have even more fun actually using this joke for something. See you next time.